They do horrible things to their children. That is old news. What I want to talk about is Maverick City Choir. Shame on you, Maverick City Choir. You guys are not saved, and it is sad. It is very sad and grieving that you guys were able to sit through Sam Smith doing a straight-up demonic ritual. Just... Hi guys, welcome to Spanglish Generation. It's day, welcome pasa sienta de today. We're gonna to be talking about some spiritual subjects and of the famous choir, Maverick City. Now, if you're new to my channel, browse through my content. I talk about a whole variety of things. And if you find value in the content that I share with you, please make sure that you subscribe, you support by liking, commenting, etc. I appreciate you so much. Today we're gonna to be talking in response. We're gonna be re reacting and responding to this TikTok video that I came across and I found it very interesting. I want to be very respectful. I don't intend to know everything there is to know about salvation, Christianity or religion. I am a race Seventh-day Adventist from birth and my father is a retired minister. So I've been in the church my whole life, okay? That doesn't mean I'm an expert. I'm just I just give you that information as context. So you see why I found this very interesting. And I don't intend to know what this young lady's beliefs are, what her religion is, what her what her knowledge of the Bible is, what her relationship with Christ is. I have no idea nor do I intend to to know. So that being said, I just want to respond to a couple of things here because we in my opinion sometimes jump to conclusions about people and I'm not sure that that is the right way, but then again everybody's got a right to speak their mind, uh to express themselves and so here we go. Let's take a look. I don't know her, I mean, you you will see her, her handle there, her YouTube handle, I'm sorry, her TikTok handle. I don't intend to, to attack her or anything like that. So please, in any way, shape or form, am I going to, am I, my intention is the wrong one or anything like that. I wanna make, I wanna leave that very clear. This is strictly because I found some information that she said interesting and I want to offer my point of view. Okay, let's get into it. You sitting there and listening to that demonically will yell because I am grieved to be on compare. And let me tell you, I'm not here to talk about Sam Smith, okay? It's been known that Hollywood is demonic. All those singers are demonic. They are devil worshippers. They do sacrifices. They do horrible things to their children. That is old news. What I want to talk about is Maverick City Choir. Shame on you, Maverick City Choir. You guys are not saved, and it is sad. It is. I want to start off by saying it is very dangerous, I believe, to make a statement such as you are not saved. Especially when you're talking about a whole choir of people. This is a whole group of people, a huge choir. If you've seen Maverick City, it's not just one person. And the choir is not just the choir director. It's a whole group of people. So to say that a whole group of people is not saved, to me is extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. First, because who knows who's saved and who isn't, but God. Which person knows based on another person's actions, who's saved or not? So I, I just, I found that very, off-putting because why would you say someone is not saved because of the following things that you're going to see it's very sad and grieving that you guys were able to sit through sam smith doing a straight-up demonic ritual so this was back in the earlier this year the grammys sam smith with the horns and all in red etc so she's talking about that how maverick city was in the audience and they sat through it and didn't Protest. Just sit there. You're trying to tell me that the spirit within you wasn't grieved? You're trying to tell me that Jesus, who you supposedly serve, would be okay with you sitting there and listening to that demonic ritual to not... 
How many times have we been in church and the congregation and we know, we know things that are going on within our own congregation and we just sit there within our congregation. How can we expect? Because there's a time and a place for everything. How can we expect Maverick City to take a stand at the Grammys? What were they supposed to do? Hold up signs? No one knew what the performance was going to look like. Were they supposed to get up and leave? They were asked to be there too. They were performing there too. Isn't that an opportunity to get Maverick City exposure? What, what were we expecting Maverick City to do? When we sit in our own congregations, in front of our own choirs, and we know that the choir director is sleeping with members of the choir, that the pianist is messing around with someone else who's not their mate. We sit in our own congregations and know people who are stealing los diezmos, the offerings. We know people who are lying. We know people who are cheating at their jobs, the government. And we sit there and continue to praise. How can we expect Maverick City or anyone to take a stand out in the world? And I'm not saying that this particular young lady has not taken a stand. I'm just saying that a lot of times we demand others or expect others to take a stand when we ourselves are not brave enough to take a stand in our own communities because we are afraid of the backlash that's going to have within our very close-knit congregations. Stand up and say, hey, we don't support this. By you guys partaking in that, you guys are telling the world that we're okay with what just went down. They didn't partake in Sam Smith's performance. They were in the audience. Just like you could be in the audience at church and something happens, doesn't mean that you're partaking in it. You're there. It happened. And you go to the Grammy, sing a secular song. In no They sing a secular song. What is wrong with singing a secular song? Putting the name out there, they're already very famous, but putting the name out there makes it possible for other people to now know who Maverick City is. And when they look them up, even if they sang a secular song at the Grammys, when they look Maverick City, they will find all the worship songs that have changed thousands, if not millions of lives. No way did you guys glorify Jesus? And the In no way did they glorify Jesus. How do we know whether Jesus felt whether they glorified or not. Yes, there are some things that are not glorifying Jesus, but in this particular thing, moment, instance, event, what was not glorifying Jesus? What, what wasn't glorifying Jesus isn't just singing a worship song. Glorifying Jesus is your demeanor, your attitude, your tone, your wording, your behavior. The reason that this is so infuriating to me is because so many young people want to be a part of Maverick City. You don't even have to be Christian to write a good worship song. Oh. No, you don't have to be a Christian to write good worship songs. You don't even have to be a Christian to sing a worship song. That does not mean that that worship song will not have a lasting effect on someone's life and eventually lead them to Christ. Who are we to say which paths are secure paths to Christ? Open your guys' eyes. Maverick City Choir is not Christian. Again, very dangerous statement just to affirm that they are not Christian because Maverick City Choir is a huge choir with a lot of people. Some may be Christian, some may be not. Some may be musicians that just like worship music. I find it hard to believe that Everybody in that choir is not Christian. But again, who are we to say who is Christian and who is not? If you profess you're a Christian, who am I to say you aren't? The only one who knows is God.
Will your actions tell on you? Absolutely. But this particular action, I don't believe is enough to determine that everyone on Maverick City is not Christian. And the drummer went out and said, if you want to abort your babies, go ahead, do whatever you want. That's a woman's choice. A Christian would not say that. You don't know what a Christian would say, apparently, because Christians would say a lot of things. And again, we sit in our congregations and hear people say a lot of things that are wrong, and we're quiet about it. And we're quiet about it. She specifically said the drummer went out and said and took a pro-choice stand where he said, I believe he said, uh, if, if a man, a man shouldn't be talking about a woman's womb, uh, whatever, something along those lines, he took a pro-choice stance and who, why are we going to judge his Christianity based on that stance? Are you pro-war? Where they kill people as well? Well, that's murder. Are you pro the capital death, capital punishment? Well, that's murder. Life in the womb, life outside the womb, same thing. So I'm not a Christian if I am pro-war, pro-military, pro-capital punishment for child traffickers and rapists. Am I less of a Christian because I believe those people should be punished with death? Who are we to judge? Who is a Christian? A Christian is judged by Christ based on the relationship he or she has with their God. Open your eyes. Af Open your eyes. Maverick City has shown you that they are not true witnesses of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you right now, Jesus is- Again, there are multiple people in the choir. It is dangerous and not fair to cast judgment on all those people because that choir is composed of individuals who each have their own relationship with, with their own spirituality. And it's really unfair to just say they are not Christian. They are not true witnesses of Christ because we don't know each person in that choir and what they have done and what Christ has done in them and through them. Is grieved with Maverick City and so should you as Christian. How do you know Jesus is grieved with Maverick City? I haven't I haven't seen Maverick City do something that's that I would consider makes Jesus grieve. I make Jesus grieve sometimes when I lie. We all lie. When I tell a white lie, you'll tell them I'm not here. That's a lie. We all make Jesus grieve. Why are we going to take that moment at the Grammys in which they chose to sit in the audience and just be in the audience like everybody else why is that grieving to Jesus? They didn't make the performance. They didn't plan the performance. They didn't choreograph the performance. They were there. What were they going to do? Walk out? Really? You expect them to walk out and protest? Very interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this, this point of view. Very, very interesting. And I want to, I just want to ask those of you who agree with her, do you walk out on your congregation every Sunday or Saturday or whenever you worship? Because you know that the pastor is being unfaithful to his wife. Do you walk out and protest? when the choir comes on and you know the choir director is sleeping around with the pianist. Do you walk out and protest when you know the treasurer of your church is stealing money? Do you even speak up? Or are we just expecting other people to do things 
that we don't even do within our own communities. We cast judgment on other people's faithfulness, on other people's Christianity, making statements that, in my opinion, again, are very, very, very dangerous, affirming what other people feel about Christ and affirming how Christ feels about specific things, such as sitting in the audience at the Grammys through an unexpected performance. What were they supposed to do? Just interrupt the performance? Because I know a lot of times you're not, you can't even walk up and down those aisles when they're recording their specific times. Unless it's like an emergency, you're supposed to be sitting down. What were they supposed to do? Interrupt the performance and say, stop this nonsense. Jesus is grieving. Just stop. We're Maverick City. Stop. Sam Smith, stop. Is that what they're supposed to do? Like what? You know, if they would have done something like that, you know, the, the craziness. People would have thought Maverick City is an extreme group. That's crazy. And no, they're not perfect. Nobody is. I don't know them. But I, I can tell you that I've been uplifted through their music and I've been called to worship and to serve through their worship songs. So that's all I have to say. I really hope that we take better care when we refer to other people's Christianity and their relationship with Christ. And before we dare cast judgment, let's take a deeper look at ourselves. Bendiciones. Okay. <laughs>